What's up guys? Got to go to Bank of America Stadium today for the first time in 2020. That was amazing. The first half was good. And then 17 to 17, third quarter, I swear we have probably a scoring differential of minus 1,000 in the, I'm exaggerating, but it's gotta be at least minus 25. Uh, then I wanted a channel changer um, because we got taken to the woodshed and back by Tampa and I figured they would come out guns a-blazing after their embarrassing loss to the Saints 38-3 on their home field. So they returned the favor 46-23. to um, Punting, never heard of her. We haven't forced a punt. We've only forced two punts in the last four games. Swallow that. I don't, I, I don't know. We we were out gained 584 to 197, I believe. And the mistakes, you can say mistakes by the offense, the timing, all that jazz. But when you have to outscore your off your your defense along with the opposition, it's a hard way to live. And gap control was again abysmal between T. Hare Whitehead on the 98-yard run and Trey Boston. And, I mean, there was a lot of times we had some decent coverage and they made some fantastic catches. But then there was a lot of times where we couldn't sniff a pass rush against uh, Tom Brady. And that is without one of their best offensive linemen. So, I mean, it, it was brutal. Um, but I... I enjoyed getting out, seeing, our, seeing the team in person, uh, getting some fresh air and spending t some time with my dad, so that was great. And some positives were the special teams, Cannon, the 98-yard punt return set up a score uh, there to get us within uh, nine. For some reason, we went for two there. Um, don't really know why there, but and then the punt that set Tampa up at the two yard line and then we uh, inexplicably gave up a 98 yard run to Ronald Jones, the longest play we've given up in our history. Uh, so again, just just really, really bad stuff. A third and 19 given up, a third and 11 given up and I can tell you uh, from the reports that every defensive player was cursing the world, cursing the locker room and that's that's what you should do when you play competitive half 17-17 and then just the wheels fall off and uh, really good stuff from DJ Moore today. Four receptions, 96 yards, two touchdowns. So that was good. Congratulations to Colin Thompson on his first NFL reception from the XFL uh, for a touchdown there. So there was still some good things. We've got to worry about the MRI on Teddy's knee. Took a big shot late in the fourth quarter so we'll see there um but really we just got outplayed on every single level almost and coaching as well with that long pass to dj moore to set up a potential go ahead field goal before the half yet we didn't tell teddy to spike it and then they re reversed that catch so uh that was bad as well i mean I, I don't know. Uh, honestly, defensively, we I, I, we have no answers. And I have no answers except hope, hope and pray and do this a lot. Um, but we're going to keep fighting. And, and rebuilding is hard, but you got to keep pounding. And it looks like we're up for another top 10 draft pick. So that should help, even though we need help in a lot of areas. But... It is what it is, guys. We're going to keep fighting. And it was fun to see my guys, my boys play in person, even though it turned very ugly very quickly. But it was really fun to uh, watch, watch it from down low. So keep pounding. Go Panthers. And we'll work to make it look better next week when we play the Detroit Lions. Should be a fun matchup. We'll see what happens. Hopefully Teddy's knee is okay. But as always, go Panthers. All we can do is go up from here because I think this was rock bottom, but as always, go Panthers.